Merry Christmas. Welcome to Faff Along. Um, so I have been faffing like you can't believe recently. I don't seem to have done anything on any big projects. I've just been making bits and pieces. And this has been one of the things I have truly, truly, truly enjoyed. So much so that I've actually booked on an embroidery workshop that we're hosting in the new year because um, I've really enjoyed getting to grips with this. But my embroidery skills are not great. This is an anchor freestyle kit um, and it's an embroidery kit and it's called Gingerbread and it's making four hanging Christmas decorations. It's on linen, it contains everything you need. It contains the linen, it's 100% linen. It contains the anchor stranded threads. It says it's easy, contains the needle as well. The only thing you need, really, it contains the stuffing to go in with the hearts as well. The only thing you need for this really is a hoop. Now I have seen people do embroidery without a hoop and tapestry, or should I say, I've seen one person do tapestry without a hoop and that was Kay Fassett and it looked perfect and really, really neat. If I don't use a hoop, then I'm absolutely rubbish at it. So get yourself a hoop, but also make sure that you take your hoop off when you've finished for that night and put it away because it can stretch the fabric. But these are super for really simple decorations um, and just look beautiful. My tree is generally sort of whites and golds and so on, so I think these are gonna look really nice on there. But we'll give you a bit of a close up now and I'll show you where I'm up to. So this is what you get inside your kit. You get this piece of linen um, with the, if you can see, with the decorations stamped on it for you to follow. You get your instructions. You get three hanks of thread. Um, I've obviously started to use one. And you get your stuffing as well to line them with. The instructions on this are really, really good. These are the instructions for each decoration. Couldn't think what to call them then. And these show you how to do um, the stitches that you need and the code for the stitches. I was a bit of a numpty and on my first one, I did this. What this code does, and it's quite interesting. So this is backstitch and it's telling you if it's a thick line, you do backstitch with six. The thread, in fact, let me show you. Sorry, I might not be making much sense here. This thread is made up of six plies, if I can open it out. Can you see all these different plies? And it tells you with each stitch how many plies of that thread to use. So make sure when you look at a symbol that you are using the right amount of thread. So French knot, it tells you to use three uh, pieces of thread. For backstitch there where it's a thick line, it tells you to use six. Now let me show you what it looks like. This first one, I have followed those instructions to the letter. However, I don't think that stands out enough. So for the next one, I am pretty confident that I have enough fabric, or not, not fabric, enough thread to make this using all six plies of cotton, which means it will stand out more. Now I am pretty, now I'm going against the rules here because I'm, I'm only telling you what I'm doing and I'm pretty confident I will have enough white floss to do this all with six plies. You can follow the pattern if you like and you know you will definitely have enough white floss or you can freestyle a bit like me. It's quite easy for me to freestyle this because I have a shop that sells the, um, sells the hanks of cotton separately if I wanted to get one, but you might want to think about doing it like that. Now the stitches are all, all the stitches are here. It tells you how to do each stitch. The only stitch I had problem doing was a French knot. And honestly, I have found the French knots really, really difficult to do. So much so that in a couple of places, rather than do a French knot, I've just done a couple of over stitches. There is then, <coughs> Read this bit first, this bit's really important as well. And then it tells you how to cut out your shapes, put your hanging thread in, which is this twisted, and to sew it together, and to stuff it and sew it together. Don't stuff them too tight, they don't need to be stuffed too tight, it might make your stitches go wider at the side. Um, but those are absolutely lovely. And I say this is, I've really, really enjoyed this. And I'm looking forward to doing more embroidery. So that's my faff along so far. I hope I've made that clear. I'm not sure that I have. So let me just go through that again. This is done directly to the instructions, this first heart, using the amount of plies of thread that they've told me to. 
This one is me freestyling a bit and using a full piece of thread, so I'm using the whole bit of that. Hope that makes sense. So there you go, I'm going off to faff a bit more.